how do you not autopilot i just afk in the head a lot um why are you what, what do you what do you mean by that like i don't think i just play i don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that what do you do when you make mistakes when you just play and you let your unconscious go and also are you actively learning new things because uh I'll, let me I'll, I'll let you answer that question first are you actively learning new things and then also what do you do when you make mistakes when you're playing unconsciously oh so you're not learning anything new okay so this is what i was thinking and i may tell me if this applies to you okay so essentially essentially let me pull out the paint man let me pull out the paint real quick all right so look at i made a video about this before with your a b c game and essentially you have this bell curve of how well you play some days you play really good it's just not as common most days you play average it's your b game you know and some days you play really bad it's just not as common though and what i'm thinking with you if all you're doing is just playing and you're not thinking the reason you have to think about things is if you're in the process of learning something new right so if you're in the process of learning something new you're forced to think about it because you don't have it down to a subconscious level where it just naturally comes out of you my feeling is that because you're not actively trying to learn something new there's nothing new for you to think about that call it, like that makes you step out of your comfort zone and what your bell curve ends up looking like this is just the average player's bell curve right he learns something new he fixes a mistake and this thing moves forward right he's no longer playing as bad like say this is an elo chart this is 100 elo this is a thousand elo for every new thing you learn his bell curve extends so now he plays at 100 elo right and then for every mistake that you fix the back end of his curve moves forward right so he learned something new and now he plays at his best at like 1100 elo player and because he fixed the mistake he'll never play as a 100 elo player ever again he's no longer that bad the worst he'll ever play is a 200 elo player right so learning new things increases the best that you'll ever play fixing mistakes prevents you from playing the worst before like your worst becomes better and what i'm thinking is your problem is if you're never learning anything new and you're always just doing the same thing over and over and over what ends up happening is your bell curve started off like this right but what you end up doing is you never learn anything new so your front end never moves your front end is stuck right here right and then you play the same way you normally do okay let's fix this mistake so you fix the mistake now you'll never play as 100 elo you're playing like 150 right you're playing 150 elo you fix another mistake now you got even better right you're playing like a 300 elo player you fix another mistake because you're not you're still not learning anything new you're fixing mistakes all right now you're playing like a 500 elo player and pretty much you just keep on fixing your mistakes because you're not learning i mean there's nothing wrong with this fix your mistakes but eventually your bell curve just ends up looking like this this is your bell curve you're just always playing the same you're probably plateauing at a thousand elo and the reason for this is because the back end of your bell curve got improved so much because you're doing the same thing over and over so you're mastering these skills but the front end never moved because you're never learning anything new and so now you don't have to think anymore right the way you've been playing is so down to a subconscious level there's no reason to think you've already mastered all the mistakes you just play consistently at a thousand elo if you want to get access to thinking you need to do things to improve the front end of your bell curve like learning something new and you know if you want learn a new smoke if you want to use it in game you have to think about it because you don't have it down to that subconscious level like the rest of your game is does that make sense uh you have to give yourself a reason to think if you want to think in game does that fit your does that fit your situation are you are you plateauing so yeah wow holy fuck <laughs> see that's i'm glad i'm glad it worked I, i'm glad because that, that was what's coming to my mind i think a lot of people struggle with this issue that's crazy if i just helped you with that shit. so optimally optimally right the optimal way you want to approach learning it's called the inchworm concept you want to treat your bell curve like an inchworm how does an inchworm move let's look let's look it up guys how does an inchworm move how does an inchworm move inchworms right how does an inchworm move this corny ass music off let's put in slow motion for everyone out there slow motion inchworm fixes mistakes brings the front end closer no more mistakes to fix push the front end out let's learn something new now we're more inconsistent right learn something new push it forward fix a mistake push this forward and then you just recycle over and over learn fix learn fix learn fix inchworm concept